Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make my uh, vegetable besan chila. It's a very healthy, quick uh, breakfast dish. You can also have this for lunch or dinner if you really want to. But uh, I generally prefer this for breakfast. And uh, here I have the chickpea flour or the besan uh, to which I have added a little bit of salt and uh, cumin seeds and, uh, and some water. I have let this rest for about 10 minutes and in the during that time I have chopped up these vegetables here I have onions a little bit of ginger some green chilies some bell peppers cilantro and uh, tomatoes tomatoes are a must guys I used to not use tomatoes earlier but once I started with this I I cannot make my basin chila without tomatoes one more tip if you are in a hurry in the morning and you do not have time to chop any of these vegetables you can still go ahead and make your besan chila with just this butter just make sure that you add some either the chopped green chilies or just the red chili powder will also work fine so i have uh, added water to this uh, salt and some cumin seeds and now i'm going to add the remaining of these vegetables and show you so I have added all the vegetables and you can see it is a very thick batter this is um, very thick so I'm going to add a little water we want it very watery consistency not extremely watery but yes because if you make it thick it it sometimes does not cook properly and um, you might feel the rawness of the chickpea flour which doesn't really taste good so i like to make it thin and that way uh, the the pancakes turn out to be very crispy and also completely cooked so i'm going to add some more water you can see how how healthy this looks because of all the vegetables and and you can add any vegetables that you like you can add spinach you can add carrots you can also add uh, cabbage so yeah just just go ahead and add whatever you like adding but this for the most part this is what i add sometimes i don't add the bell peppers and uh, ginger is also not a must but yes at least the onions tomatoes and green chilies and cilantro they are a must at least for me so i think this consistency is absolutely fine i will now show you how i make this and and let's eat it hot and just wipe it with a tissue and i'm going to take one spoon of this and add it here So you can see my batter is actually very liquidy. Once you add this, we are just going to add a little bit of oil around. And we are going to let this cook in a medium flame. So let's wait for a few minutes and a few seconds maybe. And let's flip it over. So now I hope you can see that uh, the sides here have little uh, brown and the top part is uh, kind of dry. So we are now just try, we'll now try and just check underneath how it is. And you can see it is cooked. So we are now going to flip it up. Be gentle, be slow. Okay, since I'm doing this with just one hand, it's a little bit difficult, but to bear with me. And I know my, my dosa is not the perfect. Now my dosa is ready. I'm going to have it hot with some yogurt. Just a plain yogurt, add a little bit of salt, that's it. This is what I'm having for uh, breakfast today. And I hope you guys like this video. 